In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the restoring constant of a torsional pendulum. The question reads, what is the restoring constant or the torsional constant for a disc of mass 3.0 kilograms and a radius of 0.2 meters oscillating with a period of 2.0 seconds? Now, in case you're confused as to what a torsional pendulum is, what you see on your screen is an animation of one in action. So we have a disc that looks like this, and I'll try to make it 3D for you. It is connected to a wire, and it has a radius of 0 0.2 meters. So I'll draw that with this purple line. That's the radius of 0 0.2 meters, and I'll come in handy very soon. The mass is given also as 3.0 kilograms. We're told the period very important information there, 2.0 seconds. So that is the period. The first thing that I want to do is to calculate the moment of inertia for a disc like this. So the moment of inertia for a disc, and depending on the shape, the formula will be different. So for a disc, it looks like this. We have mass times radius to the power of two over two. And I've represented the moment of inertia with the letter I. I'll substitute values that I know, 3.0 kilograms, and we have a radius that is 0 0.20 meters squared over two. All right, we have 3.0 times 0 0.2 to the power of two divided by two, and we end up with 0 0.06, 0 0.060. And that's the two significant figures. So the units are kilograms times meters squared. Those are the units for a moment of inertia. Now to calculate the restoring constant, remember that period is equal to two pi over the angular frequency, which I've represented by the Greek letter omega. And what I will do is I'll calculate the angular frequency and use the formula angular frequency is equal to the square root of the constant with, that we're looking for, k, over the moment of inertia. Normally when we're dealing with spring mass systems, this is the constant of the spring, and right here represents the mass that's attached to the spring or the coil. So that's not the case here. We have the constant, the torsional constant, over the moment of inertia. All right. Let's continue working down here. We have a period that is 2.0 seconds is equal to 2 pi over omega. And we'll solve for omega pretty easily by dividing both sides by the letter omega and dividing both sides by 2. So I have 2 pi over 2.0 seconds. I'll take this value and it should reduce down to pi pi per second. I'll take this value now and put it into this formula. So let me go ahead and do that. I have pi per second is equal to the square root of what we're looking for k over the moment of inertia, which I found to be 0 0.060 kilograms times meters squared. Let's solve for k. First, I need to get rid of this square root, so I power both sides to an exponent of 2. And now I have k over 0 0.060 kilograms times meters squared. I'll multiply both sides by this value. So I have 0 0.060 times pi raised to the power of 2. And we end up with the value of 0 0.59, 0 0.59. But what are the units? That's a good question. Well, this becomes pi squared over seconds squared. And over here we have, after multiplying both sides by this factor, I have kilograms times meters squared at the top. In the end, this becomes kilograms times meters squared per second squared. Those are the units for the torsional constant 0 0.59. But because torque 
has the units newtons times meters. We can separate this where I have kilograms times meters times meters per second squared. This part right here represents newtons. That's one newton. And that is times meters. So it's better to represent it as newtons times meters. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the restoring constant of a torsional pendulum.